Hi guys, this is MHM Lab and Production. Here I am going to tell you the simplest method how to make a water level indicator. First of all, I'll take a breadboard. These rows of the breadboard are positive rows. These rows of the breadboard are negative rows. Further, these rows of the breadboard are horizontally short and these rows of the breadboard are vertically short. Now we insert the BC547 transistor on the breadboard. The left one is the collector, the middle one is the base and the right one is the emitter. Now we will insert the 3 BC547 transistor in the breadboard. The first one here, the second one here and the third one here. Now the left one is the collector, the middle one is the base and the right one is the emitter and similarly for this and for this. Now we will connect the 330 ohm resistor from the collector of every transistor to the positive row of the breadboard similarly for this and for this. Now here is a green LED and its longer pin is called anode and its shorter pin is called cathode. Now here we connect the anode of that green LED with the emitter of first transistor and its cathode the shorter pin with the negative row of the breadboard. Now we will do the same with the white LED that we connect its anode with the emitter of the second transistor and its cathode with the negative row of the breadboard. In the same way we will do with the third LED that is a red LED that we connect its anode with the emitter of the third transistor and its cathode with the negative row of the breadboard. Now here I take a buzzer and it has two legs. The longer leg is called anode and the shorter leg is called cathode. Now here I connect the cathode of that buzzer with the negative row of the breadboard and the anode means positive leg of the buzzer with the base of the third transistor. Here I take a wire and put its one edge in the positive row of the breadboard and put its other edge up to this level in the jar in which you have to put the water. Now take a second wire and connect its one edge with the base of the first transistor and connect its other edge or put its other edge up to this level in the jar in which you have to put the water. Now take another wire, third wire and connect its one edge with the base of the second transistor and put its other edge up to this level in the jar in which you have to put the water. Now take the red wire, the last wire and connect its one edge with the base of the third transistor and put its other edge up to this level in the jar in which you have to put the water. Now I will take a 9 volt battery and connect it with a battery clip like this. Now I will connect the 9 volt battery with the breadboard in the manner like its negative terminal with the negative row of the breadboard and its positive terminal with the positive row of the breadboard. Now I pour the water into the jar to test our experiment. As you see that I pour water into the jar and as water reaches the first level that is the initial level the green wire level the green LED turned on. Now I am going to pour more water into the jar. And as much as the water level reaches the white wire level, that is this level, the white LED turned on. Now I am going to pour more water into the jar. And as soon as the water level reaches the red wire level, the red LED turned on. Besides it, the buzzer indicates the dangerous level of water. Thank you for watching our video. This is the total process of how to make a water level indicator. For more videos, please like and subscribe our channel.